So the first issue that's under investigation is the strong relationship and association of some NDC members of parliament with ministerial nominees who, who were approved on Friday. In fact, our source mentioned a former minister and another former deputy minister who are actually members of parliament who were ministers and deputy minister in the XYL NDC administration as being the subject of investigation. So that's number one, the relationship and association that these two, in fact, they are senior members of the NDC in parliament who are not one-term members of parliament. They are not two-term members of parliament. They've been in parliament for quite a while. And they are the ones who are reported, and I'm sure some of you have heard some names put out there as well. Actually, George Kwekure Hagan gave an indication of this, this particular point one that first issue that's under investigation. Take a look at this. You could see that in the numbers. That is mm. to do with friends, people on the NDC side, who are friends and family of some of the nominees. Two, some senior NDC MPs who are not happy about the timing of the change in leadership and the manner in which the change in the leadership of the NDC minority in parliament was done they are said to have engineered the sabotage by influencing some members of parliament of the NDC because of their relationship with the previous leadership of the NDC minority in parliament. I'm talking about the Haruna Idrisu led leadership. Again, George Rickett Kweku Hagan gave some pointers on, on this particular issue, the point two, which is the subject of investigation of the NDC. There is a group or a small group who were not happy with events and that they are out there basically to sabotage the new executives to make sure that they fail. But it looks as if, let's say, supporters or people who were sympathetic to what happened. So, it was a clear undermining of Honorable Atuforsen's leadership. You see, the whole idea was if the NDC minority had successfully shut down the approval of, of these ministers or ministerial nominees, it would have made the previous leadership look incompetent. So they had to ensure it never happened. That was a task of these senior MPs who engineered the sabotage. And, and the party is going to look into that as well. And that's, that's the second issue under investigation by the leadership of the NDC. That's according to our source. Now, the third issue that our source says is going to be investigated is all first-time NDC MPs. Now, this is because, according to our source, their inexperience and vulnerability may have got them influenced by some of the ministerial nominees and some senior NDC MPs who led the sabotage. So there are two things here that these, these of first time NDC MPs may have been subjected to. Kwekureke Hagan said emphatically that the leadership of the party in parliament, I'm talking about the minority, knew that some of the NDC MPs were bribed. He said that. And that, that actually then complements this third point. But I want you to take a listen to him. Greed. Greed. Yes. On the part of some of our MPs. Some. NDC MPs. NDC MPs, yes. There are some people who don't see the collective interests of what we are trying to achieve as a party. And that they are more interested in themselves making money as quick as they can so what you're saying is that some NDC MPs were bri bribed, they took money? Absolutely. They no doubt. Now, the fourth issue that our source close to the leadership of the NDC says is going to be a subject of investigation is all female MPs except the Ketu South Member of Parliament, Abla Jifa Gomashi. So, so the party says they are aware of this. 
and the, the said allegiance and relationship between these female MPs, some of the female MPs and the ministerial nominees and the NPP in parliament. The fifth issue, which according to our source, is going to be investigated in the next 30 days, is a young member of parliament. In fact, that young NDC MP, it's an MP in the, in, in the Greater Accra region, a constituency in the Greater Accra region, who has a past record of engineering a previous sabotage. So, from what we're learning, a top party leader, as in the NDC, is reported to have already called this young MP for an initial conversation on this particular matter and how he said to have also been involved. So that's going to be the, the fifth issue. Now, the sixth issue, according to our source close to the NDC leadership, is the video evidence of the NDC minority MPs while they were voting during the secret balloting in parliament. Now, our source is saying that the NDC leadership has obtained the videos, the video evidence of the MPs while they were voting, and they have a mechanism already in place to identify those who went contrary to the party's directive. So that, that video of the voting process has been secured. The seventh and final issue is going to be a subject of investigation, according to our source, is the deep contacts of the approved food and agriculture minister and MP for Abetifi, Brian Echampong. In fact, there's a reportedly open relationship between Brian Champon and some members of the new leadership of the party, plus a former top minister in the Exwal Mahama administration. In fact, a cabinet minister in the Exwal Mahama administration between 2013 and 2016 is said to be a very strong relationship between the, the two of them. So in the next 30 days or more, we'll watch closely how things will play out within the NDC after this investigation of these seven issues that we, we according to our source, is going to be subject for investigation and, and the measures and decisions that we'll be taking afterwards. So stay with us. We'll be updating you a lot more as and when we get information from our source.